All right, here we go. Question number nine from our 1316 homework number eight in my lab math. It says, given vectors V and W, part A, find the dot product. So what I want you to know is that when it says dot product, that means take your vectors and stack them. So we're going to put vector V on top, I plus J, and then vector W on bottom, I minus J. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to fill in the, the coefficients you don't see them, so let's write what they are. They're all understood one. So 1i one plus 1j for vector v, 1i minus 1j for vector w. And to find the dot product, what you're going to do is you're going to multiply your a's, and then you're going to multiply your b's, and then you're going to take those two numbers and add them, or in this case, subtract. And we do get a dot product of zero, okay? So if you need the formula, the formula for dot product is A1 times A2 plus B1 times B2. And that's why I said stack them, because it will line up the numbers that need to be multiplied. So what does it mean when you get a dot product of zero? Anytime you get a dot product of zero, that means the vectors are orthogonal. Orthogonal. And that's, in my mind, that's a fancy word for perpendicular. That means if you were to graph these two vectors and extend them infinitely far, they would cross at a right angle. All right, so let's see if I lied to you. The dot product is zero. What is the angle between V and W? Well, I said orthogonal means, in a sense, perpendicular, which means the angle between them will be 90, right? <laughs> Pun intended. And any vectors that have an angle between them of 90 degrees will be orthogonal. Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.